Hello and thank you for watching. This is a short little message on uh, teens wearing frisbees when they graduate many years ago when I graduated. Uh, we didn't know the significance of wearing a mortarboard. When I graduated, we thought they were like frisbees. When the graduation was over, we would take our mortarboard and throw it up in the sky, you know, everybody's doing it at one time and, and clapping and yelling and that kind of thing. And we thought it was like, you know, an aerodynamic device, like a boomerang or something that you could throw up into the air, that kind of thing. But, you know, as you grow in grace, you learn more about things like that. And it does have a lot of significance, I think, in the uh, education environment. It represents balance. It represents temperance. Uh, a student, when they graduate, they've got good grades and, and all these different subjects they've studied through the years. And they're supposed to be in mastery. At that point in time, they're supposed to be in mastery, and that's what that is supposed to represent. Um, we're in the Bible today. We're, we're in 1 Corinthians chapter 9. We're going to talk about that spiritually. And verse 22, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. Okay? And mortar on a mortar board, uh, mortar board in reality is used by a stonemason. And the stonemason takes a spatula and he scoops up mortar and he uses it to assemble stones or bricks or something like that. And he builds with it. And the idea of the mortar board, the mortar has to be temperate. It has to be mixed and modified to proper proportions. It's made of cement, sand, and water. They take those three ingredients and stir them up and they have mortar. And temperance is like being in balance, something like that. Temperance is a fruit of the spirit. For example, in Galatians chapter 5, I'll read it to you. Uh, Galatians 5, verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And so temperance is mixing and balance, mixing and balance to bring the proper proportions, like the elements of your Christian law, you know, like to bear fruit or something like that. And also, in verse 22, which we just read, I'm sorry, 24. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize, so run that ye may obtain. And this is in context, the prize that you receive is uh, regarding temperance. You can receive an incorruptible crown for the, uh, for the temperance. And incorruptible crown is one of the crowns that you can receive at the judgment seat of Jesus Christ. There's five of them. But that's also a crown that you can receive for just having a balanced walk, just being intemperate. Okay? So it's all very interesting. Well, this has been a short little devotion on mortarboards. Thank you very much for watching.